Welcome to Arthur Wally Niki Lee here for the Daily Examiner. I'm joined today by none other than the International Director of Man Up. This is Kane Warwick. Kane, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Hello, now Kane, just for our people who don't quite know Man Up or have heard of it but don't know much about it, could you just give us a brief understanding of what it is? So Man Up is a program for me. It's focused on raising men to be better fathers, partners, and it's a 15 week course. Men will uh, volunteer or do referrals or reports, and uh, men participate uh, over their 15 week uh, program, graduate. Often, uh, what they do also is uh, want to become a facilitator actually and take on the program itself to other men uh, that they may know of and if I know. We're here today because, uh, in relation to Man Up, our founder, Brian Tomaki, basically uh, founded this program seven years ago, and we're here today to total for him, represent him. I'm actually part of his family, I'm his son-in-law, but many of the people that are here today have, uh, are here because he's had an impact on their lives uh, through the Man Up program, and so I guess we're here to sort of say that, you know, also, what is a what is a man of his profile who uh, helps to raise men and families uh, to do better in life, why why is he incarcerated? What, is, what has he actually done? So what you're saying is that we know that mainstream media do not like Brian Tamaki at all. They can't stand him, they hate him, they want him highly vilified. But you're saying that actually he's not ticking any of these boxes. He's, he's in Mount Eden as we speak, but he's not in there for violence or sexual misconduct or, or thievery or anything like that. So what is he in there for? What's going on? Why is he there? Well, he's there because uh, the government have put out uh, a new, a new uh, bill you might be familiar with it, uh, the, health, the COVID health response bill, and uh, that has put restrictions on freedoms and rights, freedom to gather, freedom to speak, and freedom to uh, to peace. Now, that has obviously uh, hasn't sat right with uh, Brian Tamaki, it hasn't sat right with a lot of New Zealanders, and Brian Tamaki is a champion for freedom and rights. And I guess when you challenge the government that way, uh, you don't you don't get liked uh, much, mm. and in fact, you know, I think he's a political prisoner. There's definitely, uh, I think, um, agenda behind uh, his incarceration here today, and I think that's really brought a lot of uh, passion out of the people too. A lot of the people that are gathered here today are from different ethnicities, different beliefs, and uh, they're here because they believe that Brian Tamaki is in prison, but it's injustice. Mm. What is it that he's speaking about that is attracting so much attention from people within and without the church? It's simply because it's a, it's a human right to be able to have your freedoms, um, have your rights to, to speak, to, to be yourself, uh, to raise your family, uh, to make choices uh, that you believe are right for your family. It's just those fundamentals that I think a lot of New Zealanders have realised these things are slowly being deteriorating and being taken away from us not actually in a nice way, like being asked, or they just actually be wholesale swiped out from beneath us, eh, as Kiwis. And when you think of our forefathers and uh, yeah, our grandfathers and great-great-grandfathers that fought in wars for our freedoms, to me, this government is really uh, showing its colours that it doesn't respect our traditions. Mm. And I think that's what our founder, or Brian Tamaki, is really standing for, is bringing back those founding foundations that our country has been built on. Do you have any last message for all of the New Zealanders out there at this time? Yeah, it is. Uh, to all families of New Zealand, it's time to uh, remember, firstly, what our forefathers fought for, uh, our foundations of uh, belief and who we are as people. And I think it's time to remember to love one another, treat each other with respect. It's got nothing to do with whether you've been vaxxed or unvaxxed. Come back to treating people uh, with, with with good heart. And if, if it's time for you to stand up for your freedoms, hey, do it. Okay, you're not going to be popular, but you're not doing it to be popular. Maybe you're doing it for your for your family, for your children, and your wakapuna. Mm. Well said. Well said. So that was Kane Warren. He is the international director of Man Up Program. He's been here since the start. My name is Ali Yuki Lay. This is Daily Examiner. God bless you, and God bless New Zealand. <laughs>